All right. So uh, next, where did I put my chalk? There you go. Oh, there is another good piece. Um, so next, uh, let's look at uh, the, the the wild and crazy world of uh, uh, of essential singularities. Um, and this is sort of an amazing term. Uh, there's a much stronger term that's true, but uh, but this one is easy to prove, and it's already amazing. About what a function does near an essential singularity is really, really crazy, really wild. So, it's the Cassarati uh, Weierstrass uh, turn. And it says that suppose that f, uh, an isolated singularity uh, at uh, fp, uh, is holomorphic. And let's suppose that uh, p is an essential uh, singularity. Well, we're assuming here, as usual, this is uh, open and P is in U, right? It's just like always. And suppose that uh, P is an essential singularity. Then, for any, any uh, uh, disk of uh, you know, any, any radius, uh, uh, function around P, which is uh, which is in U, so we still want to stay within the uh, domain of definition of, of, of F. So if I have uh, you know, if, if U is this, P is uh, uh, right over here. So you know I can take any punctured disk around P, right? Uh, then for any blah blah, blah this the image. Of this, uh, this this guy, this guy is dense in C. Every every possible value. Now that means it's not attained, but it's uh, it's I, I get a dense set. I get close to every possible value in the complex plane just by looking at the image of this, right? Uh, maybe let's, uh, let's write this um, more uh, explicitly. What is, what is this? This is, this is all the w's such that uh, uh, w is f of z for some uh, z in, uh, uh, in, this, in this function disk. Right now, there's actually the stronger version of this uh, that's uh, that's true uh, is, uh, is the so-called uh, uh, Picard's theorem, and that says that uh, you don't only get a dense set; you get essentially everything set possible to a point. Right? It's uh, 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 you know, for example, uh, you know, if if you take sort of the if Standard example e to the one over z, right? Uh, if you think about well, it's basically like uh, taking uh, e. Uh, let's let's you know this is basically we're getting all the points that are sufficiently far away. Uh, all all the uh, so one over z is all the complex numbers that are sufficiently far away from the origin. Uh, so and, and we know that. Uh, so it's basically we're we're just talking about e to the z. We're just talking about the uh, essential singularity at infinity. Uh, so this thing, what is it? It's uh, e to the x uh, and uh, e to the i y. Now I can write, you know, no matter what, uh, except zero, zero I can't do. But no matter what complex number you give me, well, what is its uh, modulus? Right? Well, I can give you, um, uh, you know, I can give you the modulus over here, right? And uh, 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 
we can, uh, 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 you know, you can give me that argument over there, right? So that's 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 basically I can. Why can I get uh, as well? I mean, I'm only supposed to do for large x. Uh, well, but uh, I can for large enough y, right? Once y is large enough, I get I get all x's, right? Uh, if uh, if I'm saying it's just I just have x plus i y is sufficiently far away from the origin, well, I can just make y be sufficiently far away from the origin, and then I have x plus i y is sufficiently far away from the origin. Right, so I add some really large uh, multiple of 2 pi i over here, right? Right? Can't get zero. I can get everything else, right? And it turns out that uh, uh, every essential singularity uh, works like that. All right. So let's 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 prove this. And it's well, we're gonna we're gonna prove uh, big hard theorem. We're gonna prove Castorati bias trans. Castorati bias trans is, is easy to prove. Uh, so, how do we how do we prove this? Well, uh, suppose it's not dense, right? So, suppose f of uh, a little bit more room, uh, f of uh, uh, this 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 image. Uh, Sorry, the, the complement of this image uh, right. suppose that this contains some disk arbitrarily small, really, really, really tiny disk around some point, let's call it Q right? so this would mean that it's not that right? the complement has an interior Right? No matter how small. Maybe maybe it's you know it fills up everything else, but there's some tiny disk that it misses. Right? Well, let's look at um, uh, let's look at the function g of z, uh, which is gonna be one over uh, 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 f of z minus q, right? And let's suppose that uh, we look at the function uh, uh, G in uh, well, we start uh, in this in this uh, function disk, right? It's definitely defined there, right? Because uh, um, This guy is is definitely bigger than equal to s uh, on um, right. So it's definitely defined there. It's it's nice holomorphic function. Everything's everything's great. Uh, well, what does this mean? This means that uh, he is bounded, right? By one over s. Okay. For all z of this disk, right? So, so q, uh, sorry, uh, p is a removable singularity of g. So it's actually holomorphic, right? All right. That's uh, you know we have an eraser we can do a magic eraser. Hey, G is actually holomorphic uh, on on this uh, uh, on this set, right? Um, not according to this formula, but it's it extends right uh, to that uh, 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 to that set, right? And let's figure out what f is at least in the puncture disk, right? Where f is defined, right? So uh, f, well, how do I? Uh, you know, it's it's uh, one over uh, g of z uh, uh, plus q, right? Okay. So what what, what did we gain, right? Um, 
Well, what we gained is uh, we have a different formula for it. We have a formula for f in terms of uh, a holomorphic function, right? A holomorphic function that's that's holomorphic in this in this entire disk, right? So if uh, if g has a zero at um, at p, then uh, f has a pole, right? We saw that before, right? It's uh, uh, you know one over uh, something with a zero of order k uh, will give you a pole of order k, right? So if g has a zero, this is a pole, right? Like q is just a constant, right? So f then has a pole at p. Well, not uh, not an essential singularity. If uh, if G has uh, 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 so, so, so if G is not if G has a zero, sorry, uh, uh, well, well, if G is not zero at P, then uh, F, uh, uh, then then P is a removable. Singularity of uh, of f. All right, because then one over g is just holomorphic, right? So then we have a, a holomorphic function in the neighborhood uh, of uh, of p, right? That equals to f, right? I mean these two uh, equations are on the puncture disk, right? This is just on just on this end, right? But g. When we said g actually extends through, we can think of g as a function of holomorphic, uh, even at p, right? So, so that's the proof, right?